He, got, he talks about his balls all the time. There's been so much ball talk. But really? really? A lot of ball talk, right? Yeah, a lot of ball talk. <laughs> Beaming a signal around the globe. Direct from New York City. New York City. It's Brad Blanks. Brad Blanks here, sitting between two handsome guys. How you doing, Ricky? Good, Eric? Thanks. Good, thanks yeah, can you describe where we are, Ricky? We're in um, an outside an Irish pub on uh, 43rd, I think, East 43rd Street. And um, we're doing the opening scene of the movie where we first see uh, Eric sitting at a police scanner, um, getting information. He's a dodgy. Uh, radio journalist and um, uh, he's a maverick. He doesn't play by the rules. Uh, was it daunting for you? You brought on Eric Banner, you know, a movie star. I know. Yeah. Well, I, I thought of Eric as this real brooding thespian. I saw him in Munich and he was up for an Oscar and and he was the, the whole. He was an action hero and I thought great. And then I found out he's an idiot like me. He's a complete putz. He's an idiot. He, got, he talks about his balls all the time. There's been so much ball talk. But really, really, a lot of ball talk. Right? Yeah, a lot of ball talk. <laughs> I think we reached peak ball week two. Right. And yeah. now it's week seven. Yeah. Week seven, yeah. so it's just so balls we, everywhere now. We've got yeah. a few references in the movie because we couldn't resist it. So lots of ad libs revolve around yeah. our balls. Good. Yeah. Now, uh, Eric, he's uh, got a beautiful wife in this movie. We've got Vera as his love interest, who I swiftly try and uh, cut his lunch. Cut his lunch. Right. Good. So, what's that? Is that a terrible Australian phrase? <laughs> yes, please. Explain. Please explain. Yes. Cutting your lunch. In this movie, Eric Eric sleeps with my wife. To be fair, he doesn't realise it's my wife. My my my, exactly. my my wife knows who he is, and um uh, She's and, the one and that and that and then he right. finds out and you know um, uh, but he's sort of this user, Lothario. He doesn't care about anyone. His life's not turned out quite like he planned because he drinks and he, and he answers <laughs> right. back. And I'm a little tech nerd and I look up to him and I love him and then he sleeps with my wife. Great. This story seems a lot like my story, Ricky, as a failed radio journalist oh, wow. who struggles. It is, it is based on you. That's why I had to get um, a big, lumpy Australian to play, to play your part. You should see him when he's all the prosthetics on. What we, what we did, we just put a melon right. on his face. Still look like me. And shaved his head. Right. In the, in the, yeah. 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 Don't yeah. go in the makeup yeah. trailer. All the <laughs> reference photos are you. Right. Gotcha. Now he loves age 12 right. He loves heads, doesn't he? Have you noticed that he loves people's round heads? It's been a fascination. I am fascinated. Yeah. I do. I do like to hang around freaks, which is why I've given you 15 interviews, more than anyone else in my career. Right. I think yeah. only Letterman yeah. has had more interviews. That's right. He's, he's everywhere. He just turns up at the, on the red carpet like a big, something from Monsters Inc. And, I, and, I, and I, at first I felt sorry for him, and then and then it just it just got to be like a little mascot. I, I avoid people on the red carpet. Okay, it's Brad. It's Brad Blanks. Yeah, come and talk to me now, Eric. Thank you, Ricky. I love your compliments. Um, Ricky, you. uh, Eric, will you take Ricky to Australia soon? That's the. Um... I am working on it, but I yeah. keep taking one step forward, two steps back. Right. I, I, I work on him. I tell him great things about it, and then I go one step too far. I go, and the freaking Huntsman's like, have you ever seen a Huntsman? Uh, forget it. Yeah, he starts sweating and starts getting a panic attack. I shouldn't have told him about the Huntsman. That was and really then, stupid. And then and he then tells me stories that I was on the runway for six hours before we took off, <laughs> then it was another 25 hours in the air. Forget it. <laughs> no, um, right. So will this bromance continue? Do you think it can continue after the... No, that's... <laughs> got one day Movie left. Movie stars. Movie stars. One day left. Yeah. And then Can't I'm on to the next he ever thing. Met me. <laughs> right, <that's laughs> yeah. he'll, be, he'll be at home. He's going to say, what, what was it like working with Rookie Gervais? And he'll be shaving his chest and going, I don't even remember. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. <laughs> right. host Just Emmys once or something. <laughs> <laughs> There he goes, straight to the balls. The balls. Straight to the balls. Okay. It's like Pav loves dog. I'm sorry. I'm with him. We talk about balls. Pav loves dog. No, no, Pav loves dog. Loves his balls. Well, loves his balls. You can lick them, I think. Can't you? Um,